Train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Goland Bodybuilding. Mountain. And I know you guys are thinking, you're thinking I'm in the stick factory right now and you're probably interested in purchasing another exercise stick. Well, just, just so you know, uh, they are on sale right now for about $499.95 for a stick about this size. You know what I'm saying? I mean, a lot of you guys are probably starting off with lightweight, so it just makes sense that maybe a stick of this size would be appropriate. Uh, but you know what? If, if you're a little bit stronger than, you know, for a measly $1,995, You, you can get a stick like this, you know what I'm saying? Like this is a pretty solid, pretty solid stick, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, anyway, it's up to you guys, but I know a lot of you guys are doing home gym type stuff, so you wanna have some dependable equipment in your house. And uh, yeah, you wanna support the channel? There you go, you got your exercise stick. So I know I haven't talked about exercise sticks for a while, but here you go. It's just like money's just growing on trees for me. It's crazy how much money I get from this stuff. It's, it's criminal actually, it's almost, it's borderline criminal but not quite, they sent me some money. So today I thought I'd make a video on something very simple and I've talked about this before, but I thought it's really important to remind you because it's very easy to get caught up in the overcomplicatedness, you know, let's just make up words, the overcomplicatedness of training and to say, okay, you have to do this technique or go all the way up or go all the way down or don't bring your elbows forward when you're bicep curling and you know, and I've talked about this stuff over and over again about how it's, it's about the technique that's appropriate for you at the time. So right now, like for instance, with barbell curls, I'm doing a pretty narrow grip and I'm coming all the way up with lighter weights and I just enjoy it. It just feels good. It just, like my arms are like, thank you, thank you. You know what I mean? It just, it just feels good doing that. But then other times I'll keep the elbows back with a little bit of a wider grip and just pump reps as much as I can because it's, it's almost like there's a different activation from that process, right? So it's really great when you're open-minded because then you start to realize the truth that threads between all these different techniques. One is the technique that's right for you is the one that's not inflaming up your joints or causing any issues, right? And the other is that getting muscularity is, is simple. It's just that people try to complicate it, right? So if you're eating enough and sleeping enough and you're not all stressed out and your body's healthy and so forth, one simple principle is what's going to get you to gain muscle and gain strength. And that is just pushing the muscle as deep into failure as you can. So you all know if you do one exercise, you'll hit failure in one muscle group, you'll feel it, like maybe the muscle will be on fire or it'll just get this dead feeling. Then you do a different exercise, you get a dead feeling in another area. Well, wherever it is you're getting that dead feeling or that intense muscular burn, that's the muscle that is adapting from you pushing deep into failure or at least challenging it, you know, in, in a certain way. So all you have to do is challenge the muscles, challenge them. It's not so important to have the perfect amount of sets or the perfect amount of, uh, of rest time and the perfect amount of rest days and, and so forth. I mean, you'll figure that out as you go, but the most important is, are you just challenging the muscle? And, and where people get caught up is they're like, oh, well, I use this technique instead of that technique, or maybe my elbows were flared or they're tucked too much, or, and they get too obsessed. You know, if they're squatting, they're like, oh, where's my foot placement if it was too far in or too far out? Don't worry about that stuff so much. But really, if you're gonna worry about something, worry about whether you challenge the body safely or not. And if you do this repeatedly and you keep on stepping up into your workout and challenging the body, challenging the muscles, not necessarily just tweaking ligaments and bouncing off tendons on the bottom of the movement and everything, but if you're actually challenging the muscle, like you're hitting failure and hitting that intense burn or hitting that intense deadness, you're going to put on muscle, assuming that you have your diet in place. You're gonna start putting on some muscle and you're gonna start making some gains in, in the gym. So you wanna return back to simplicity for periods of time. And the reason for this is that every technique that you visit, you'll notice that it works for a period of time and then it no longer is suitable for you or maybe your body's craving a different technique. 
So if you get too caught up and obsessed about one technique or another, you sometimes get limited because you get stuck like a hamster on a wheel using that same technique over and over again, even when it has outused its usefulness or you have outused its usefulness, right? So that's why it's, it's very important for you to just reset back into simplicity. As long as you're challenging the body and it's filled up full of nutrition, there will be some adaptation and it's that challenge through uh, higher reps and lower reps and medium reps that will create the the muscular gains and the strength so it's it's one of those things where people get so like obsessed with oh are you internally rotating two degrees or internally rotating that's not quite as important right because say you do adjust a technique and you get a little bit more uh, emphasis on one muscle group or another it doesn't mean that you're not challenging the body in some way, shape, or form. Maybe you develop a little bit differently, but something is developing regardless of the technique, right? As long as you are actually contracting and relaxing muscles in the process and not just using momentum. So I find that people need to get out of their head more often. And I found a lot of the guys, a lot of the bodybuilders that were in the gym and writing everything down and obsessed and they were just in their head so much. Uh, I found that they made less gains than the guys that just showed up and put out the effort and, and just repeatedly showed up and then started to discover, you know, where their effort was more effective. But in the end, they continue just to show up and put in the effort and just exhaust those muscles, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's, that's really what I wanted to say is that you don't have to overcomplicate this whole process. Don't get too worried about, oh man, I'm doing a two-day split instead of a three-day split or I'm doing a four-day split instead of a two-day. You know, you try all these different things, but don't get too locked into one way or the other, right? Because I've talked about this a lot where I do lower volume, higher, higher frequency type training most of the time. That's really what feels right for my body. It seems like it's a good groove. But then there are times where you will see me do more sets or more volume and challenge my body in a different way because it's fun, right? Helps reset the whole way that I experience training. And at the same time, every different technique or different method will hit the body in a different way. And as long as I'm just challenging it, something positive is happening. Mountain, right? You, you know the monsters back in the woods, they're, they're doing different things all the time. I mean, sometimes they're using exercise sticks or, or people that don't pay their exercise stick bill you know, sometimes they're, uh, you know, doing some UFC slash wildlife fighting stuff. You know, just different types of training. So, you know, you got to change it up. So anyway, I hope this helps out in your training. Thanks a lot for watching. If you need to get a hold of me, just go to naturalgolandbodybuilding.com. And thanks to the Patreon supporters. And take care for now. And you better be listening to the Patreon podcast because you're missing out if you're not. Mountain. <laughs>